Yep. Thank you. Well, that terrific idea is that we should make a video on volcanoes. But this time we're going to divide it into two parts. The first part, which we're going to do today, is going to be about volcanoes. And the second part, we're going to teach you how to make a volcano. This is really exciting. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, this is going to be really fun. Woo! In this video, we are going to be talking about volcanoes. But did you know volcanoes come in all shapes and sizes? And did you know that a volcano can exist for months or for several million years? Wow! But not only that, there is volcanism in other planets, like Venus and Mars. And even on our moon! The study of volcanoes is called volcanology, and the scientists who study volcanoes are called volcanologists. The word volcano comes from Vulcan, the god of fire in Roman mythology. Volcanoes are located in two main regions on Earth, called belts. One is called the Ring of Fire, around the Pacific Ocean, with 452 volcanoes. The other one is along the Caribbean and the Mediterranean Sea. Now, let's show you a picture of a volcano and study some of the parts. This is a stratovolcano with layers of ashes, which are in white, and layers of lava, which are in gray. You can see where the magma is. Number one. The pipe that conducts the ashes or lava. Number three. The layers of ashes and lava, which form the shape of the volcano. Number seven and nine. The throat of the volcano. Number ten. The vent or the fracture where lava flows. Number 13. And the crater among other things. And number 14. Now that you have seen the picture, it is easy to understand that a volcano is a rupture on the crust which allows hot lava, volcanic ash, and gases to escape from a magma chamber below the surface. How do we classify volcanoes? We classify them depending on the frequency of their eruption. They can be active, inactive, and extinct. Yes, active volcanoes are those that have erupted regularly. For scientists though, an active volcano is one that has erupted in the last 10,000 years. Wow, that's, that's a, a lot of years. Inactive or dormant volcanoes are those that have erupted in historical times but are now quiet. Scientists consider dormant those volcanoes that have remained asleep for a long period of time. For example, Yellowstone has a reposed period of time of around 700,000 years. Extinct volcanoes are those that have not erupted in historical times. For volcanologists, extinct volcanoes are those that they consider unlikely to erupt because the volcano no longer has a magma supply. There are also polygenetic volcanoes when they erupt repeatedly and monogenetic volcanoes when they erupt only once. Are all volcanic eruptions equal? No, there are active eruptions, quiet eruptions, and violent eruptions. Ah! Active eruptions have thin magma containing large amounts of gas. Hot lava shoots out of the top of the volcano. Quiet eruptions happen when the magma is thick and contains small amounts of gas. The thick lava forms a huge dome. Violent eruptions, when the magma is thick but it has lots of gas. Magma often hardens before leaving the vent, resulting in an explosion with ash and rock fragments propelled upward with no lava. Oh, interesting. The four main types of volcanoes are composite volcanoes, cinder cone, shield volcanoes, and volcanic dome. Some of the tallest volcanoes are composite volcanoes. Like Mount Fuji in Japan, Mayon Volcano in the Philippines, and Mount Vesuvius in Italy. 
Throughout recorded history, ash produced by the explosive eruption of stratovolcanoes has posed the greatest volcanic hazard to civilizations. They have great pressure, and their eruptions are very powerful, with large pieces that can measure more than four feet across and weigh several tons. Volcanic cones or cinder cones are cone-shaped hills that rarely rise more than 300 to 750 meters high. Most cinder cones erupt only once. Monogenetic. There are among the simplest volcanic landforms. Paricutina in Mexico and Sunset Crater in Arizona are examples of cinder cones. Paricutina erupted for nine years. Diamond Head in Hawaii erupted more than 20 years straight. Shield volcanoes don't generally explode catastrophically. Shield volcanoes are common in the ocean. They are common in Iceland and in Hawaii. Lava domes are sometimes formed within the crater of a previous volcanic eruption. As in the case of Mount St. Helens. But can also form independently. As in the case of Lassen's Peak. They can produce violent, explosive eruptions, but their lava generally does not flow far from the originating vent. Finally, the supervolcanoes, or calderas. These aren't cone-shaped mountains. Instead, they are the sunken areas left over from previous supervolcano eruptions. They can produce devastation on an enormous, sometimes continental, scale. Such volcanoes are able to severely cool global temperatures for many years after the eruption. They are the most dangerous type of volcanoes. An example is Yellowstone. Many volcanoes erupt each year. The effects of a volcano eruption can be devastating. Like the Vesuvius. That killed many people. Or the Lake Volcano in Iceland in 1873, which produced a volcanic winter causing famine. Mud flows, landslides, tsunamis, poisonous gases, and hot ashes that can bury people are some other examples of their hazardous effects. The volcanoes can leave behind good things. They remove heat from the interior of the earth. They have produced the atmosphere and the water of the oceans. They create new lands. They transform the soil, making it fertile. They also leave behind different types of beautiful and useful igneous rocks. Like granite. So widely used in kitchens nowadays. Finally, volcanic rock allows us to know more about the earth and how it is formed inside. Now, let's do a volcanic experiment! In this video, we are going to be talking about volcanoes. But did you know volcanoes come from... Uh, come, come, come. The word volcano comes from Vulcan, the god of the Roman... By the Roman myth, all can be active and acting. Active.